Good morning. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, we're gonna take you guys um, with me today. You guys come on and hang out with me today. I'm getting ready to drop the boys off um, at their camp program. And then we're gonna head back to the house, but I will see you all in just a bit. Let's go. All right guys, I just pulled into like a little landscaping um, nursery that's um, not too far from where I live. I have to check this out. They have some odd varieties. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. Um, and um, yeah, let's go look around. Ooh, exciting. Okay, a staghorn fern. Wow. In a basket because it was thrown around the basket. Right. <laughs> Just look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Huh. Wow. A crepe murder, but that color though. Yeah. Is alive. Okay, you guys, look at this. This is a perennial begonia. And he's gonna let me try it. He says that when he digs it up, it dies, so it just loves where it is. But it is growing in rocks, like literally, it is tough as nails. So we're gonna dig it out, a little piece out, and we'll see if we can get it to root. It's beautiful. Later. All right, guys, I'm back home. So, um, you guys want to go see the garden? Let's go check on the garden. It's a couple of things that I will have to do in the garden today. Um, we'll do that, and um, yeah, let's just go see what we can find, shall we? Come on, come on. Okay, guys. So before I do that, I want to show you all my score. I scored yesterday. I went by my mom's, and I got lots of plants from her. Lots, lots of goodies. And I also scored a tree. Look, guys. This one is a Satsuma. I have a Satsuma orange tree. And I got this one for $10. Inside of my plant goodie bag. I'm getting ready to plant these out. That's what we'll, that's what we'll do, guys. We'll go ahead and plant these out. Um, that's a um, dragon egg eggplant. Um, oh, my gosh. I don't know the name of this one. I'll put it on the screen if I can find it. And I had tons, tons, tons of this plant, but I ended up killing it, taking it out of one of my um, plant pots I had inside. It roots really, really well. Um, we call it purple passion. Um... I think that's all that's in here. Oh, I think I have some 4 o'clock babies in here, too. I need to get those out and get those planted in the ground. Oh, my gosh. I got to get them out of here. Oh, and I have some. Um, I have this one, too. Really easy to propagate. Really easy to grow. So, I'm going to put that one in the pot today, too. And I bet you're wondering, what did I get at the nursery? Let me get over here so I can show you guys a little better in the sun. All right. I hope it's not too, too bright where you guys can't see it. But this is what I ended up getting at the nursery. He gave this begonia to me for free. He said they have a hard time potting it and rooting it and growing it. But this is the variety that we, I showed you um, when we were there. Beautiful. It has an orange tint to it when it hits the sunlight. Um, but I'm going to get that in the ground ASAP. And then um, this one here, which does not have a name tag on it at all. And he couldn't remember the name of it. But I love that. That is so neat. Look at that. It's a trailing plant. He said it's in the Creeping Jenny family, kind of like. And it has these beautiful silvery leaves on it. I love it. I think it would look gorgeous spilling over the side of a pot or something like that wouldn't it wouldn't that be gorgeous all right 
let's get these plants planted in ASAP. Let's go. All right, guys, I also got this one. This is the a key line. Look at that. It's a key line. This was $10 too. And I want to show you what the original price of these plants were. Um, they were at Walmart, they're 43. Here's the problem that I don't know what that is. If that's like some kind of mushroom or something, I don't know. But I'm getting that out of that pot ASAP. One of the ladies there, she was a really, uh, she was a senior gardener, and she just told me it was really nothing to worry about because this plant looks really, really, really healthy. Um, but it, I need to get it in some new soil. So I'm gonna remove that, get in some new fresh soil, and we'll be good to go. Now you guys are probably wondering why my planter is empty. There's some little birdies in there. Look. You see them? Birdies. You sleep in there. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway, they're sleeping there. So that that's the nest, and I think they're blue jays. I think, but the mother flew away, um, flew the, uh, over the other day. So I know she's taking good care of them. But the downside is the side is that I can't plant anything in my pot, and I usually have them right here by the front door. It's really really beautiful, and now I have this bird nest in my. Oh my gosh, guys, what am I gonna do? I mean, I can't touch them. I don't think. I don't think if you touch them, she may not come back to the nest. So I have to let them stay. Okay, here's another garden find. Let me show you. All right, so this, I found this one. This one was on clearance. It's a uh, Mandevilla. Look at it, 408. This is a beautiful color. Um, really deep crimson. I think I'm going to put it up here. Um, on the front porch area and I may like kind of let it climb or something but yeah this was another one of my finds for four bucks so you guys think I scored I think I scored <laughs> I think I scored big time okay all right guys so you know when I was telling you guys I didn't know if I was going to be able to save my plant, I saved it. And there she is, the Pescata Romanesco. Ooh, let's harvest her now. She's looking really beautiful. Look at that. Look at that color. Those stripes. Oh my gosh. She's kind of in a tight position over here by this face. But I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get her. She's getting big. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. guys so that's that okay so I saved the plant and now I've lifted it up back up out of the ground I had it anchored in here so I'm just gonna put her back down into the ground and set it up straight um, and get that secured wanted to show you all my balsam camellia they've grown so 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 much look how big they are and how tall they are look at all the beautiful colors and wow, they are gor gorgeous. They're all through here. Look at that. Look at that. Then the occasional beetle comes through here trying to be a bully. Get out of here. All right, guys. So just wanted to share that last bit of the day with you. I'm going in fixing dinner. And that's about it, guys. I, you know what I'm gonna do? I think what I'll do is I'll go over and harvest some 
Swiss chard to go with my dinner. burns on the leaves it's pretty hot out here but I'll harvest these and um, put them in the basket that'd be great for salad I like to harvest all of the outer leaves Save the middle, the middle leaves. The slugs have really been enjoying this Swiss chard. They have. They have been enjoying it. I brought some scissors, my garden scissors out here. Look, look how they've been enjoying it. So, so guys, don't forget what I told you. If you grow it, Eat it! All right, last but not least, let's get a bunch of onion, guys. I'm trying to just pull up one. Oh, I pulled up two. That's okay. Red burgundy bunch of onions. Ooh, you guys should smell. You should smell this onion. And look how pretty it is. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that color. That's the red blushing burgundy bunch of onion. That's gorgeous. All right. So, garden harvest for the day. For dinner. Onion powder in there. Okay, that's not a lot. It's just like a half a teaspoon. And then about garlic powder, about a half a teaspoon. And mix it up. It's gonna give it lots and lots of flavor. Okay, and oops, and I don't like my zucchini to cook mushy, so I like for it to just cook a little bit. This is onion powder, garlic powder. I'm going to put some black pepper. You can put cayenne pepper as well. And some Himalayan sea salt. I'm trying to think if I had, um, and this is dried parsley, I could get fresh parsley out of the garden as well. That's what I should have done. I should have went out there and got some fresh parsley. All right. I kept thinking about this parsley, you guys, so I had to come out here and get some. All right, I'm gonna harvest it now. It's all edible. 
So I just want a couple of little sprigs. Chocolate caramel uh, coffee. Uh -huh. <laughs> And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you like it and I hope you do. Subscribe if you're new and share this video if you want to. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.